Hi, on my workbench today, a hot water dispenser from Bredeco. And apart from the really cool design, I reckon, uh, it's also very useful and versatile. So uh, you can actually put it at home because it looks good and well, it's quite uh, useful, uh, especially when you have a large family and you're using, uh, well, you're drinking a lot of tea and coffee. Um, and you can put it in a conference room, in a hotel room or whatever. Uh, whatever you need some boiling water. Uh, so you can do not only tea or coffee, but also instant soups and stuff like that. So let me just go through some of the details and I'll go through some of the options as well, just to show you how it works and what it does. So first of all, it is quite a powerful package. It works with 680 watts, so it is quite efficient. It has a five liter capacity tank. Uh, I'll show you that in a second, uh, how the tank looks like. Um, and well, let's just start from the top. So first of all, we have two pouring options. So one is manual, one is automatic. So when the device is connected to a power source, you can use the automatic uh, pouring system. Uh, if you already have some boiling water inside, you can pour, uh, transport it due to this nice handle. So you can unplug it, carry whatever you need it, and then you can actually pour it manually. There is a pump, you can lock and unlock it, so when it's unlocked you just press it just like that and you can pump some hot water straight into the mug. When it's not needed you just lock it down so this doesn't work and well you can pour it automatically. Let's have a look at the tank. As I said, it's a 5 litre capacity, so you just lift the handle, you can open up the lid. Uh, be careful when the water is hot, the steam will accumulate underneath the lid, so uh, always open upwards, never just look inside, and because um, it may, may get a little bit dangerous. Uh, there is a marking on the inside of the tank, how much water it needs. As I said, it is 5 litre, there's also an indicator up front that shows you how much water there is. So it, will, it has a certain allowance on the top and bottom, so if you pour it up to the top, it will go just above the full level here. So uh, this is the actual indicator that's sort of like, you know, so just so you know uh, how much water is inside. Um, but this device will let you know when uh, the water goes below the minimum level. It will show up on the display, which is digital. So let's just close it down. I already pre-boiled some water just to show you. Um, how it works, but let's just turn it on. The main switch is on the bottom here on the side, so let's just turn it on. Automatically uh, the setting will go to 85 degrees for the water, so you just can reset the temperature just by pressing the temperature button and you can set it in 50, 40, 60, 85 and 98 degrees and when you see the display is going red, that means the water is reboiling. You can also um, press the reboil button anytime you like. So if you think that the water has been sitting there for too long uh, on a low temperature, you can press the reboil button and that will just uh, bring the water to boil and it will drop it down very slowly to the selected temperature. So let's say in this case, let's just drop it down to 60 degrees. Every time you turn off the device, it will automatically go to uh, 85 the time you switch it back on. Alright, so let's just go through the pouring process. So let's say the display shows the actual temperature. I've selected 60 for the keep warm temperature. So once it reaches the desired temperature, after boiling it will automatically go to keep warm. That means it will keep the desired, the pre-selected temperature. You can speed it up if you know that you, the water has been boiling and it's too hot now, you can press the reboil button one more time. The display will go green and you see the diode uh, going on at the keep warm. That means this will just drop down to the desired temperature and will stay there. All right, so in order to pour uh, yourself a cup of hot water, you need to press the unlock button. The light will go on and that's where you can push the automatic pouring button. The moment you release it, it stops pouring, so you can control how much you are pouring. And that's about it. That's how it works. Uh, very important with this device is the cleaning function. That is actually a very um, useful feature. Uh, so first of all, 
In order to clean this device, and you need to do it quite regularly because there's some scales, uh, you know, residue, um, it, the more often you clean it, the better the device will be working and the longer it will be working. Uh, especially when you have hard water or you have some scales in the, in the water and so on. So first of all, you just fill up the tank up to the full mark. Then you just add some uh, citric acid. Uh, I think the measurement is about 15 grams for five liters. Uh, you press the clean button and what's going to happen is the water is being brought to 100 degrees, so it's boiling. Uh, the whole process takes 17 minutes, so the water will circulate inside. Uh, afterwards, you just need to uh, turn it off, empty the tank, uh, use the automated pour pouring system in order to uh, get rid of all the water in the pipes so there's no uh, citric acid left in the pipes. Afterwards, you just fill it back up and you start working again. So that's a really cool feature. All right, so that's pretty much it. If you're looking for a water boiler, you may have a look at the website. There's a whole range of these devices on offer. Um, more for home, they are more for commercial use as well, uh, with larger quantity, sorry, um, volumes. Uh, so you definitely find the one that you need for your business, your venue. Uh, or your company. So, um, with each machine from Bredeco comes a three year warranty and well, if it comes to safety, the producer made sure it will travel really safe because they put it not in one, but in two very thick cardboard boxes with some additional uh, cardboard inside and packaging material. So it really travels safe and nothing should happen to it no matter what the delivery guy does to it. Also inside you will find an instruction manual with extensive information on how to use the device and how to clean it and so on, so definitely worth having a look at. Alright, so that is about it. If you found this informative just leave me a comment in the comment section, let me know what other devices I can test for you and I'll do it. I thank you guys very much for watching and I see you next time.